This is a wrap up of phase one of the solar inverter battery upgrade. And we've got four energy 100 watt panels. There's two more, that's part of phase two, just ignore them, they aren't there. Ran them through the stack. I have videos in a playlist. I'll link them down below when I install these. Let's go look at the basement. See the charge controller. The power from the solar comes down through the bathroom wall, wraps around, and I have a 30 amp fuse and a number 10 wire fuse holder. Comes into the bottom of the charge controller and uh, out of the charge controller through a breaker and into the batteries. For this season I have four Group 24 Marine batteries hooked up with a double lot cable comes through the wall into a 250 amp fuse got on a, a power di battery disconnect goes back into the inverter a negative runs back through the wall down here out of the inverter we come with some number 10 wire and into a 30 amp plug and out of the trailer ran underneath comes through the side of the trailer into a dog bone from a 50 amp twist and that's how we supply the power in the trailer we'll go around to the other side here phase two I'll be moving the solar controller and the on off switch for the inverter inside we'll flip the power on the inverter now we have power into the cab let's go in and see what we can do with it So the power comes into the cab here through this 50 amp breaker. Whatever I want to run, I would flip the switch here. Here's the microwave. I just turn that on when I want to run it because it has considerable vampire draw. The main breakers I normally uh, run with is the garage, uh, bedroom, GFI runs the bathroom, and that's it. General. General is important. So those four breakers uh, would fireplace surprisingly also has a tremendous vampire draw. So I leave that breaker off unless I just want to run the lights again once I'm done running the lights inside the fireplace I would uh, throw the breaker now the television and and the DVD player both have vampire draw I get around that just with a power strip so with that we can just turn it on at night and or whenever we want to watch it when we're done, we flip it off and then we still have power everywhere. So the bathroom all has power. I uh, don't have any to plug, anything to plug in right now, but, but it does. Same with the bedroom. 
There's, I, I leave the bedroom television unplugged. Uh, otherwise, it'd have a vampire draw on it also. So cool. Everything I just showed you, the inverter installation, um, the extra battery mount in the in the battery tray, it all has uh, been video documented it and it's in the playlist linked below individually uh, so please uh, check it out subscribe if you haven't already uh, we're doing lots more videos uh, and uh, phase two on the solar and uh, some AGM batteries is going to be kind of cool too so please check that out and thanks for watching